It's the August Bank Holiday Weekend and our three Club Life teams have journeyed to the Royal Borough of Windsor for the end of season finale, the Club Life 2020 tournament. The venue was the picturesque Windsor Cricket Club, located in the shadow of the famous castle. The day would follow a simple round-robin format with the winning team getting their hands on the Club Life 2020 trophy. First to arrive were the Catford Wanderers. <laughs> Closely followed by some bleary-eyed Aberdeen players. Worryingly though, there was no sign of the Linton boys. Fortunately, the first fixture of finals day was the Dons versus the Cats. The Aberdeen opening bowlers started well and Catford were soon in trouble. And as the wickets were falling, Linton and Linmouth stumbled out of their minibus just over an hour late. Back at the ground, the Cats were trying to recover from losing early wickets by hitting their way out of trouble. But they slumped to 50 for seven. Only Andrew Eiffel offered any resistance. And some clean striking in the final overs from the big all-rounder meant Catford reached 117 for nine from their 20 overs. In reply, the Dons batsmen didn't hang around as they took full advantage of the fielding restrictions in the first five overs. Simon McGillowy led the charge blasting 53. And Aberdeen cruised to victory by six wickets with 36 balls to spare. After a quick bite to eat, the Cats won. Linton and Linmouth were making their debut in the competition as they faced Aberdeenshire in Game 2. The Dons opening pair made light work of the Linton new ball attack. And things got worse for the Devon side as their wicketkeeper Dave Proctor broke his thumb early on. But the Dons overseas pro Todd Astle showed no mercy to a beleaguered Linton, blasting the ball to all parts on his way to an astonishing 101 in just 16 overs. Aberdeen posting a massive 259 for two from their 20 overs. The Linton openers, Graham Fitt and Ed Yeo, started aggressively. Which is just as well because the run rate required was a massive 13 and over. Soon after, they were both cleaned up. The middle order couldn't get the Dons bowling away. Linton ending on 118 for eight. Aberdeen winning by convincing 141 runs. So with two wins from two games under their belts, the Dons strolled into Windsor, keen to experience some of the Royal Borough's history. I want a sword. Can I be a musketeer? A blue musketeer? Yeah. This is boring. <laughs> I think I was going to go for, for this chap here. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, what do you reckon? Yeah, top to him. Or, uh. He's got to get back to it. <laughs> Christ. Are you going to supply us with a hat? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, who's about to get to work, boys? <laughs> <laughs> All right, girls, how are you doing? 
why, why, why don't you treat yourselves and go and get dressed up through there and, you, and look what you can look like, like this lovely gentleman. <laughs> so I'm sure you're looking a lot better. Oh, you know, it's great fun, great Yeah, nice. Because with the ears. Didn't have time to wax them, so... Uh, <laughs> get, get. <laughs> You can get yourself into a nice dress like that. Oh, wow. So you will replace me? Yeah. Are you coming tomorrow at 10 o'clock? Is that when you start at 10? Yeah, I'll be here at 10. What are you going to do tomorrow? What are you doing tomorrow then? They are. Yes. Okay. No, that's a deal. Thank you very much. You can come every day then. Okay. I particularly like the colour. and There are some green fields to it. Some green and blue dresses, but I think this. Magenta number is actually the best one in the shop. Um, I was calling it plum. It goes, it goes with the necklace as well. It's quite nice. You, you magenta and the magenta half. I thought, yeah, it was very good. And uh, we were quite. I mean, we've got a job. Yeah, we've right. just been given a job for an hour on 20% commission. So obviously, we want to get some punters through the door. And we need to. I think we were successful. We did particularly well with a bunch of yeah, Spanish the, girls. The important thing was to appeal to the full spectrum of passers-by, male and female. We didn't want to limit ourselves. It's been a nice end to this season because we've done pretty well. Won the league on on Saturday. So uh, it's been a kind of nice celebration trip down to London, uh, quiet night out in the beer last night, and then and then a good good couple of games of cricket. So it's been good. We knew at the start of the season we had a, a once in a career opportunity with Sky choosing us to run the club life sides. We've done the same sort of thing that we've done each summer, but we've had Sky with us all summer, obviously, and to have that opportunity to see the boys on and off the pitch. I think we're like a lot of club sides around the UK. You know, we play cricket hard on Saturday. Yeah. It's been fantastic that we managed to win a trophy, but also off the pitch we like to enjoy ourselves. It doesn't have to be too serious when we're away from cricket, and I think the, sh the shows have captured both really well this summer. Oh, I see. Oh, honestly, it's apparently what do they know about you and me? Privilege to hand the cup um, to, to, to Aberdeen, I gather, who uh, who were awesome and impressive. So, if Matt Hayes would kindly come over. Thanks a lot for you guys for making a good competition, a great day for all of us. We had a great big road trip coming down, enjoyed a few good beers last night with some of the Linton boys. And and it was a great time. Nice to meet all of you and put some names to faces. So I think we can all say that all of us have had a great summer and it's been a real pleasure and a privilege enjoying being on TV and bringing a bit of change and a difference to what otherwise we do every summer. But this one's just been a little bit special. So thank you very much and uh, thank you. Everyone. So another successful finals day to end this year's series. Thanks to all three teams who provided so much entertainment throughout the summer. Side voice.